Now that YouTube demonetization is pretty much right next to me, I should probably stop being lazy about this. <laughs> Yo, what is up, Crocs and Clan members, Poker fans, and others who have some upon this video? I'm sorry, it's Crocs in here with the long awaited <laughs> episode 7 review <laughs> of Pokemon Sun and Moon English Dub. Oh my god, it's been months since the last time I even mentioned the anime in a video like this. Um, and it's been a, a couple weeks. Maybe a little bit over a month since I said I was going to do this episode review. So here we are in the cusps of losing my monetization on the channel. Awesome. No, but in all seriousness, uh, you know, with the whole YouTube thing, I decided to stop being, I need to stop being lazy. I have a month to make the best of it, you know. I'm going to try to do my hardest. I'm not going to, this is the only episode review I'm doing, by the way. Uh, I'll explain what I'm going to do at the end of the, the review. So stick around for that. So this episode uh, is the introduction of Litten as a character. <laughs> well, I mean, we've seen him before, at least from what I remember. I'm pretty sure we've seen it before. I want to say, coming back to the series, I still don't like the opening. <laughs> uh, I do like the fact that Team Rocket was pretty much irrelevant in this episode. They only showed up for like maybe... 30 seconds or so. I, I obviously wasn't counting down, but it was a very small portion of the episode, which is what I want from them. I do not, I either don't want them there or I don't want them as an integral part of the story. So Lytton shows up, uh, steals to ask his food, whatever, you know, hijinks ensues. This Lytton is apparently popular uh, in this scene here because it's always stealing food from people, but because people think it's so cute, Never really bothers to, to do anything about it. I don't mess with that. I, I am putting up with that. No, I do not. You steal, especially food. If you steal food or anything from me, it's go time. I don't care if you're a small cat. We're going to throw it down. Um, I mean, this is a Pokemon, so it's okay. Especially, actually, one thing I do want to mention. I'm, I'm not going to do like my usual reviews because I just want to get this over and done with. Rowlet wasn't in the episode, and that confused me. Like... He wasn't even in Ash's backpack, which I thought was supposed to be the main gimmick of Rowlet. I don't get what happened there. Uh, that was a little bit weird. Uh, that, like, they showed a scene with Ash and his backpack was, like, full of, like, vegetables and stuff. And Rowlet wasn't seen once this episode. Uh, in fact, the main focus of the episode wasn't even around Ash. It was mostly Litten and this Persian. Now... I do want to mention that I haven't really, like, I wasn't ready to see a Persian that wasn't related to Giovanni, because, like, that's the only Persian we've ever seen before. I don't think we've ever seen another, well, besides the one that Meowth confronted back in, like, season one of the anime when they went to, like, that Hollywood episode thing. That was the only other time we saw a Persian, uh, but the rest of it is literally just been Giovanni's. And from that point where we saw that other person in that Hollywood uh, episode, it's just been Giovanni's. So it's like, it was weird. I was not ready for it. On top of the fact that it was the ugly Persian. <laughs> uh, I also was confused that they didn't really integrate the Persian's owner into the story. Because, like, are we just supposed to assume this is like a half and half, like a half wild Alolan Persian and then like just a trainer's Pokemon even though the lady wasn't a trainer she was like one of those rich ladies and stuff like that it felt kind of weird like you would expect it to be because like Ash and them like beat it up like Alolan Persian like gets blown away by Pikachu and then so it's injured it's completely injured goes back home but we never see the lady again like we see the lady once in the episode which is after the Persian, like, beats up Litten uh, the first time. And then we never see her again. Like, I feel weird that the owner of this Pokemon would not be concerned or would not be shown uh, as having concern for this Pokemon being all banked up. Especially since this is one of those rich ladies, you would expect her to be, wait, what happened here? And there would be, like, an investigation or something. I doubt she would even let the Pokemon 
be anywhere away from her at this point. It was weird. We also see a Stoutland who's like very injured uh, or at least old. I couldn't get between the two, which is like a really bad point in the episode. They try to show off that Lytton was stealing food for Stoutland, but I couldn't tell if it was injured or if it was just old. They, 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 it was too, it's too indistinguishable. I kind of wish they had shown off a little bit more because we didn't really get a backstory there. Uh, and those, like, like I said, this episode wasn't even focused on Ash. It was more on Litten, yet we don't get a full backstory between these Pokemon. I already knew that Litten wasn't going to get caught this episode. There was a lot of things that I kind of figured were going to happen. Like, when I saw them, I was like, yeah, I was expecting that to happen. Or I kind of knew the flow of how the episode was going to go. Now, obviously, I missed out on the fact that the lady never showed up again. I knew the person was going to come back multiple times. There was a bunch of stuff I was able to, like guess that were going to happen or expect to happen and got correct but there's no there was no I didn't feel like there was a full blown backstory here for this Pokemon. Rowlet Rowlet got a backstory. It lived in a forest. It it was abandoned. It was taken care of by the Trumbeak and the two cannons and the Pikipek and all this family. They've been living together. They all hunt for food together, bring it back to the nest, and all that stuff. We got a some, like, it's not the greatest backstory, but it was a backstory for Rowlet. And then, obviously, Rowlet then joined the Ash's team. I didn't feel that with Litten. I just saw a Litten. The only thing we saw is that Litten was injured and then was rescued by Stalin. I didn't see anything after that. I don't understand what happened to Stalin. I don't know why he is the way he is. I don't, obviously, since I don't know what happens in the future, because I'm going to be, like, I know for a fact he catches Litten later down the line. So maybe they can expand on that then. But for right now, I do not feel any sort of connection to Litten. Because I don't understand its backstory. I don't know what happened to it. I don't know why Stalin is like this. I don't know the reasoning for Litten being the way it is. It's just... It just felt like... It, the, it's a th it's not really a throwaway episode. But I don't feel like it really drove any point home. It's like for the fact that Litten is kind of like douche... In order to help Stoutland. Like, that's the only thing I was able to get. But I don't understand the reason for it. I don't understand why Litten is doing this stuff. I don't understand what happened to Stoutland. The lady with the, the lone person. That was pretty much irrelevant. I don't get the reasoning for a lone person being the way it is. You know, it, it was just being a douchebag for no reason. I don't I don't get what was happening. I don't see an overarching story here. So to me, the episode felt kind of weak. Um... The only positive thing that came out from him, obviously, was the fact that, you know, Team Rocket was barely shown off, which is great. They, they did the, their gag. They're enjoying vacation. They were, you know, lit and stole from them, whatever. And then Ash almost caught a lit in, I guess. I don't really... It, it's, it fell flat. To me, it fell flat. Now, to uh, kind of bring up to speed what my plan for this series is, I'm going to be marathoning the rest of the first season of Pokemon Sun and Moon. I know it ended, uh, and I'm pretty sure I have at least a month or so before the next season comes out. I don't even, actually haven't even looked exactly when the next season starts, but I will be marathoning the whole the rest of the season, and then at the end, after I finish everything, I will do kind of like a recap, my thoughts on what happened over the course of the season, and after in in that recap slash thoughts video i will also give the announcement whether or not i will actually continue doing the reviews for the upcoming second season uh also kind of like this one i know this one was a little weird kind of jambled up a mess instead of doing what i was doing before right where i used to just explain everything that happens in the episode and would give commentary on on each particular thing which is what i did mainly with the first six episodes of sun and moon and the entirety of x and y uh, which is probably why it was so draining to make that uh, <laughs> that series before. I'm going to be going into an overall thoughts. Like, give maybe a few pointers in here and there, but then actually, like, do, like, a deep dive of the episode. Kind of like what I did here at the end of the review, where it was like, hey, this is what happens, this is how I felt about these things going on. Kind of like that. I hope if you guys like that style, let me know in the comments down below. Obviously, I want to get this... This, this is going to be one of the main shows if I do decide to do it. Like, if I like the season enough to, to like, actually come back and do episode reviews for Sun and Moon uh, for season two, I want to know what kind of style you guys like. Do you actually st still prefer the old school, like, X and Y, Sun and, like, beginning 
a couple episodes of Sun and Moon style where I go through every part of the episode and discuss about it? Or do you guys like actually want like a deep dive of what happens and my overall thoughts on it? Let me know down below. Uh, but that's going to be it for this review. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will not be leaving links anymore for uh, episodes because at this point, this episode's been out forever. I'm pretty sure all of you have seen it. So, like, what's the point? <laughs> Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Sarah Croxton, and I will see you guys in future videos.